This morning we are getting fit golf style. Now you don't have to hit the links or slim down or strengthen your muscles, but working out with Greg Einerson could definitely improve your game. Uh, Greg, thanks for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. Uh, this is of course a timely segment to be talking about with what's going on today. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. All right, so I want to start off with uh, the overall health and fitness benefits of golf. I know a lot of people may think that golf is not particularly high intensity, and you say that it also can be low intensity for people who need it to be, but it is still a full body workout, right? Sure, absolutely. Um, well, if you're not uh, riding in a golf cart, uh, walking 18 holes can be a great form of steady state cardio. Uh, it's up to six miles of walking, depending on how long the course is and if you're hitting the ball straight. Uh, and then a golf swing is a full body power movement. Uh, involves strength, stability, balance, and a lot of coordination, which are all skills that translate over to uh, functional, healthy living and uh, aging healthily. And I feel like a core part of that is your core, uh, and that is an Absolutely. important thing to to kind of upkeep while you're uh, while you're a golfer. So you're gonna kind of you can walk us through a couple of those workouts. We wished we had a, a golf club here with us, but you're gonna kind of show us some of the core workouts uh, that people can do to to keep their core strength up, right? Absolutely, um, yeah, and we can make work with anything. Uh, let me step back and I'll get a little bit of space. <clears throat> okay, so one of the the primary exercises for building a strong foundation for your golf swing is a hip hinging motion. So what we'll do for that is set up in a nice tall position. Hands are gonna be palms facing back, belly buttons up and in, and trying to ground our feet. So thinking really stable base and ground. So I'm gonna tear my feet apart into the ground and then standing nice and tall, pushing my hips backwards as my head and chest come forward, trying to keep a nice long spine. I'm going as low as I can until I feel some tension in my hamstrings, and then using my glutes, which are my big power muscles, to drive myself back up. Okay. So I could do that with some weight if I wanted to, um, or I could inch forward and come back up here. And then if I wanted to add in some stability and rotation for golf, that could look something like hips back, and then rotating oh, side cool. to side while keeping my hips stable. I feel like that probably helps a lot. And, you know, people can probably commonly experience back issues if they're not having a proper golf swing. So I would imagine that those kinds of turns and exercises for your back help out, right? Absolutely. Yeah, anything where you're trying to pull your core in and really use those muscles to keep your back straight and su supported uh, are going to help keep your back healthy. All right, sweet. What else do we got here? Um, okay, so another one that we have, I'm going to take another little step back, is a plank hold. Uh, very common, but we'll add in some things that will make it more challenging for golf. So we're going to set up, uh, can you see me okay here? Okay, so our plank position here, hands are directly underneath our shoulders, belly buttons up and in, and we're looking again for that straight line from ears all the way down to toes. And we can start with a modified position here with knees on the ground. Um, either way, we can start to challenge this exercise by stabilizing core once again, and then I'm going to reach one hand out to the side, and then I'm going to drag one knee forward. Oh. Or that's going to look like up on our toes, hand out to the side, knee forward, oh, and, and then hand out to the side, knee forward. Oh, I start to get a little shaky when I get onto the, the <laughs> arms and legs yeah. moving. It's a challenge. Um, so those exercises are, if my hands are down, I'm stabilizing my upper body while my lower body is doing work. And then when my lower body is down and I lift my arm up, I'm stabilizing my lower body while my upper body works, which is um, a lot of what you're doing in your golf swing. And I mean, obviously you're doing this from PFC. For viewers who don't know what PFC is, give us a little background and uh, how it relates to, to that golf swing. Sure. Um, so PFC is a live-in wellness camp for adults uh, located in Carlsbad, California. Um, we have uh, our philosophy here is think, eat, move. Um, and those are the main components that we focus on. And we like to simplify that to just those three things because uh, we like to think that living healthfully shouldn't be difficult or complicated. We have a lot of programs here uh, designed to tailor whatever needs that people are looking for. And I mean, for people who want to improve their golf game, I, I would imagine just improving uh, flexibility and, and those core strengths are, are key to it, right? That you guys work on? Absolutely. Um, yeah, a lot of mobility 
and a, a lot of strength, particularly lower body stability makes a big difference. And we do a lot of that work here. And then people who are interested in pursuing more of a, a golf focus, we're, um, we do a golf fitness program and then we also do a tennis fitness program too. So we, we kind of see everything. And I love that you guys are local too. You're up in Carlsbad. Uh, give us a little bit more background on where people can find you guys, whether it be social media or your website, what's the best way to do that? Um, our website, uh, pfc.com. Um, and then we're also on uh, Instagram and, and social media on uh, just Premier Fitness Camp. Well, sweet. Thank you for being with us this morning, Greg. We appreciate it. And uh, thanks for giving me some uh, tips and tricks for those core workouts. You're welcome. Best of luck to you. All right. Thank you very much.